Hello and welcome to the Learning C Sharp series on DreamingCode.net. My name is Curtis and I'll be walking you through our first tutorial in the series, Hello World, your first C Sharp program. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm using Visual Studio 2010 Ultimate, but you can use any version of Visual Studio. This will run in any of them. Uh, we'll go ahead and create a new project, File, New Project. Uh, we want to use a Visual C Sharp Windows project. You'll see there's a couple of options here. Uh, the most basic option is a console application. Let's go ahead and choose that and we'll name it Hello World. Go ahead and click OK. And Visual Studio will create our folders and files and our basic template. This is the default template for a console application. It's a fully functional program on its own. We can build it, which means compile, and you'll see that it succeeded. It won't do anything. That's our job. But before we start writing code, we'll go ahead and discuss what the code that it already added means. The first lines in the program file are using directives. Now, .NET Framework is organized across several libraries into what we call namespaces. Namespaces are used for logical groupings of types. Uh, for instance, you'll find classes that are used to read and write files inside the system.io namespace. Uh, the using directive tells the compiler where to look for these tools. Uh, in our program, we'll be using uh, tools to read and write from the console. These tools belong to the system namespace. The other included namespaces are just part of the template and are irrelevant to this tutorial. You can delete them if you want or leave them. It won't make a difference. Next, the namespace line. Uh, we've already mentioned that namespaces are used for logical groupings of types. Note that the namespace is the same name as our project is named. We'll discuss namespaces more in a later tutorial. Next, the class. Classes contain properties and methods and a few other things. Uh, we'll go into much more depth on classes in a later tutorial. For now, just understand that the program's code lives inside this class called program. Next, the main method. Methods are callable blocks of code that are used to perform tasks. Uh, all C Sharp console applications start at the main method. It's the entry point for our application. After that, you'll see we have several closing braces. Uh, braces in C Sharp are used to define scope. And again, we'll explain scope more in a later tutorial. For now, just notice how each brace has a matching open brace, and they're at the level of each one of the constructs we've already discussed. Well, it's time to go ahead and add some code here. C Sharp is a fairly semantic language, and a Hello World is a great example of this. We want to write a line to the console. To do that, we use console.writeLine. We want the console to output hello world. Now, that right there is a complete C-sharp program. We can go ahead and build it. It compiled successfully. Let's go ahead and run it by clicking the green play button. Now the console popped up and went away really quickly. Uh, the reason for this is when a program opens up the Windows console, when that program exits, so does the console. We need to tell our program to wait for us to stop. And a good way to do that is to wait for user input. Now again, another example of semantics. Let's read a key from the console. Now let's go ahead and run this click the green play and there we go you see the result of our program pop up on the screen And when we press a key it goes away and that's it that's your first C sharp program thanks for watching this tutorial you can always find more tutorials in the learning C sharp series at dreamandcode.net